trying to make the world a better place that not a lot of people see that. You have to look deeper. And so for my art, you see skeletons and you see skulls and you see hearts and you see bleeding and you see tracheas and you see like deep stuff that's like within you. And you really have to look deeper at what I really meant behind it. Because if you can see that one skull with a heart in its head, um, you see just a skull and you're like, okay, death. You see a heart and you're like, what does that do in a skull? A heart's life. That pumps blood all through you. That's theoretically your feelings. So when I named that piece, I named it uh, overfeeling. Because usually when you think of a brain, you think of like terms like overthinking. So overthinking is thinking about something for too much or too long. So I took the brain out of the equation. I put the heart. So it's loving something for too much or too long. And so even though you're dead, you still love whatever you loved when you were alive. That doesn't go away. It's not taken away from you. And so I think that's what I do in my art is I put a really, really dark subject, but it takes a certain eye to see the beautiful light in it. And I think that's why my art is so much different than everyone else's. And I think that's why I can connect to my art better because it's just that little, little piece of light that just makes the whole thing beautiful. So I found a quote that um, related to me and I thought that you guys would like it. Uh, it says, you're afraid that they're going to abandon you, so you abandon them. You distance yourself from the whole thing. I think that speaks volumes to me because that's how I saw life and I saw people getting abandoned. Um, when I was little, I witnessed um, divorce and then another divorce and then another like remarry. And I've been in the situation where I've been bullied and and just seeing people actually getting so close to whatever they do or whatever they say, whatever they feel, however they look at you, it hurts you in some way. And I never, ever, from the pain that I felt, wanted to feel that pain again. So that's why I distanced myself from the whole thing. And I started to go towards art and then video games and seeing everything as like Cloud9 experience. Like, Every time you see me in person, or you talk to me, or someone talks about me, they'll be like, yeah, she's this way bubbly person that's just like on cloud nine all the time. I've never seen her frown. I've never seen her cry. I've never seen her do anything. Because I don't let people that get that close to me. And I don't get that close to people to where they can actually see that. Because if they leave, which I've like seen people leave, I don't want to get attached to where it hurts me when they leave. So that's why... I do my art and I do my studies and I want to be successful because that's just all on me. That's never going to leave unless I let it leave and that's not going to happen. And that's why I work hard because I don't want that to leave because that's where I find my passion. That's where I actually get to connect and let my emotions out. I just thought that really spoke to me and every, how I see the world. Uh, maybe that could help you guys and maybe understand why you do some of the things you do. Anyways, uh, this is Kay Blackwood uh, from Dallas Real. The inside, inside Dallas Real. My bad, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> no one.